There was talks about Hurricane Dorian coming from the Florida area into Georgia and headed towards Charleston. The governor would come in to let everybody know that evacuation was in order. Once the storm passed, everybody was ready to get back to work. We worked the vessel, the Golden Ray. We discharged 256 cars. We came in at 7 o'clock start, and we finished right before 12 o'clock. Well, I received the phone call around 3 o'clock. Okay, I'm going to bring it back up. Roger. Breaking news. Cargo ship capsizes off the coast of Georgia. US coast it was Guard. devastating because we had just worked the vessel. On the way to the island, I was just praying. Everybody that was on the pier started praying and were their lives lost on this vessel. I know it was a crew on there. I didn't know if anybody was rescued or dead. I just knew just to pray. Once I heard that 20 of the crew was rescued, I felt a little better than my prayers being answered, but then they were saying that it was four that was still on them. If I was on a ship and it was standing sideways in total darkness, I probably would have been hopeless. I was just praying that maybe that day in a place where they're all right and hoping that they were together and keeping each other motivated and uplifted. that last gentleman out, the only thing came in my mind was good, everybody safe. The next move was putting our life back together. Everybody that was standing out there was saying, you know, if the channel was closed for one to four months, what type of impact would it have? It would have been a major impact. Georgia Port in Savannah and Brunswick generates so much job opportunities for truckers, processing, the rail cars, bringing cars in and out. It would have been devastating. We work with a great group of men and women. The Coast Guard, Georgia Port Authority, pilots, everybody got together and they were strategizing how we could move forward. We had got past the storm. Everyone was retrieved from the vessel. It was just a matter of time before we, we started back working. Brunswick Port is open for business.